President Raisi's foreign policy is being lauded by Punix as a progressive one that seek to bring the Islamic Republic of Iran from the cold to a warmer collaboration with neighbors and countries from all around the globe. His current visit to Africa comes to bolster an already good relationship with the continent, Kenya being Iran's second largest trading partner after South Africa. Timothy Omondi with the details. Kenya is the second largest trade partner predating the revolution to Iran in Africa and the Islamic Republic after South Africa. This trade is based on tea in exchange to oil, carpets and chemicals. President William Ruto in a joint presser with Iranian President Rais announced plans by the Iranian government to set up a motor vehicle industry in Mombasa to produce indigenous Iranian motor vehicles. I am delighted to report that President Raisi and I have just concluded highly productive bilateral discussions on a broad range of very important issues. During our meeting, I affirmed to His Excellency President Raisi the important place of Iran as a critical strategic partner for Kenya and the value that we place on the friendly and fraternal relations between our two countries. Iran's automotive engine and engine components market had a considerably fast growth in the past few years due to the population and the need for vehicles. In its 2025 grand economic plan, Iran plans to become the number one automotive industry in the Middle East region aiming to rank 5th in Asia and 11th globally. In January of 2021, Iran's most prominent automotive firm, the Iran Kodro Company, also known as ECO, unveiled a domestically made three-cylinder engine, EC5. The automotive part industry in Iran is a major economy driver and is broken down into two segments. Original equipment manufacturers, also known as OEM, and aftermarket part manufacturers, which produces replacement parts for vehicles. Iran has a total of 1,200 automotive parts manufacturers across the country. Total annual sales value of this market is 8 billion US dollars with 6.5 billion dollars belonging to the OEMs and 1.5 billion to aftermarket parts producers. Despite being a regional leader in the automotive industry since the advent of sanctions, the emergence of China as a serious player in the Asian market has ridden rough shod over the previous growth by Iranian automakers in those markets. Besides their significance in the trade relations with Africa, Iran is also trying to steer clear of the isolation that it has been subjected to for decades due to the UN sanctions. But closer home, it also seeks to repair relationships with countries like Morocco and Egypt. Iran's renewed push in the Horn of Africa also shows a country that is seeking to make an impact in a region where other Gulf nations have asserted a lot of influence, not just in trade, but also in areas such as security and defense. Tehran and Nairobi seemed to shy away from discussing security issues, given that Kenya is a key player in the region's security, especially in Somalia. It would have been interesting to know Iran's interest in security in this particular region given that Gulf nations such as Saudi Arabia have shown much interest on the same. However, analysts say that this could have been one of the matters on the table for discussions between the two leaders, although it might not have been made public. Timothy Omondi, GBS News.